Welcome to another video from PWO, Pop World Order. We're here live at Dunkin' Donuts. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I need my coffee. Uh, I need my coffee. We're heading over to the Meadowlands Flea Market. We're going to see in Sea Caucus. We're going to see if we can find any toys, collectibles, vintage stuff, Funko, stuff like that. We could bring it over to PWO's next show, which is next Sunday at 9 a.m. at the Pop Kings Toy Collectible Show in South Hackensack. I'll, say, I'll put a link below in terms of the everything in terms of the link and how you could uh, know more about the show. Um, it's a great show, third Sunday of every month. You can go check that out. Uh, I just want to thank everyone on Instagram for sending all the DMs the last couple of days in terms of all our posts and all the things that have been we kind of been uploading. And thank you for all the support. Um, also, everyone that's been making purchases on our PWO Macari page, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, also, I want to say everyone, hopefully everyone staying safe being out there when you actually go out there go into any toy events and stuff like that hunting just be safe um, I just hopefully all this ends very very soon um, let's go on with this video hunt I'll be back in a second you guys we're here at the Mel Lance flea market we just got here I got my mask we're about to go in we're gonna go check it out it's a free event you can come every Saturday to the show um, we're in front of the MetLife Stadium you can see behind me right there even though I'm not a giant fan I'm a, I'm a Niner fan boo Giants um, we're gonna go in check it out I'm gonna show you everything I could possibly show you in terms of it seems like there's more people today so we're definitely gonna keep our distance uh, but I'll show you everything that that the show got to offer all right be right back all right we are back here we're actually coming up on one of the best hot dog spots in this flea market which is right here it's a great hot dog market You guys always have my favorite table. Okay. Seems like it's not a lot of tables, it's a lot of space more. I think you got a combination of the virus right. and the threat of rain today. Makes sense. Makes sense on both. Yep.
much for the Stay Puff? Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. Alright, I might come back to this one. Oh, okay, that's fine. No worries. I understand. I've been. I actually found a couple of them at Walmart. I was looking for that one. <coughs> there. Uh, How much is this? There was one Walmart that had like four cases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fifteen. There was like four cases, and all the Bubba Fits were gone. Yeah, yeah. I found a couple of them once. I, I think I'll find it. They're they're reasonably priced some places, so yeah. I mean, they're good to have because down the road. I mean, they're. Gonna yeah, you can't look. You can't find the original one, so. No. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And the one with the, the rocket that comes out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, I'll be back, maybe I'll... Thank you, man. We have here. Attila. Star Trek. Star Wars. A lot of pops. Comic books. Toys. Like I said, PWO is the only place is going to take care of you guys in terms of toy hunts, live videos, unboxings, and everything that you're going to need. All right, got our victory lunch right here. Nice big long hot dog and Coke Zero. Great hunt day today. Uh, I'm going to show you everything that I got when I get home and see you guys in a little bit. All right, we just got to Walmart. Let's see what we can find in terms of figures or anything. AEW. Oh, there we go. We found something. The AEW Unrivaled Action Ring, baby. Score. Looks like they took all the figures, of course. Some belts. Uh, I do have a couple AEW belts. That's a new WWE SmackDown Live ring. The Master of Grace Call is still there. But did score this one, baby. PWO. Come on. Let's go. Um, that's it. Everything else. Let me check out the pop section. Watch out there. 
guy almost ran me over for this PWO ring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, let's check out the pop section. Let's see if there's anything good. I don't think so, but we got here. Oh, we do have some con exclusive Fortnite Ripley, but I'm not too crazy about Fortnite. Anything else? No Masters of Universe. We still have some Skeletors back here, if anybody's interested. But I'm pretty happy with this. Hard to get. AEW is one of the hottest things right now. Got the belt, just missing some of the figures. Need that Jericho and need uh, that Omega. So, all right, we're here at the clearance section to see if we found anything else. And yes, we did. Let me put my AEW ring up here. And we found the very hard to find. I can't even pronounce the name, guys. On clearance. Very nice. I think it's called Azreal. I don't know. This is one of the hottest figures right now for the multiverse. So pick him up with my AEW ring. Perfect. Hey guys, we're back here at the house. I'm gonna show you everything I got from the Mel Lance flea market. It was pretty cool today. Found a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna show you little by little what I got. First off, I'm gonna show you, I got the, can't I found this one. This is the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus Kenner edition. Pretty good condition for it being this old. Uh, you can see right there with the tag from JP07. Um, this is an old, old Stegosaurus. It goes for around, I would say probably 39, 40 bucks online, maybe a little bit more. Got this for $2, an amazing deal on that. This was at the flea market, so I'm gonna show you everything at the flea market first. This is a Jurassic Park Imaginex uh, playset. I think it had the original T-Rex right here in the middle. So it came out, so didn't have the T-Rex, but definitely, I love anything that has the Jurassic Park symbol like entrance. So this is a really cool figure. Um, again, got it for two bucks. So most of the things I got at the flea market, I didn't spend more than $8 on anything besides one thing up there in the top corner. So this was two bucks, this was two bucks, this was two bucks, and now we have this one. This is the Optimus Prime. This is, seems to be a play mobile, I think figure. It's a high figure. Um, does the chest does open maybe actually we'll find maybe a, uh, the actual matrix Maybe I'll find a piece. I think it does open. I'm trying to see if I can open it here it Should open but there we go So it opens right there. It'll be nice then if I could find maybe a, a light thing I could put right there in the middle and so I could show in terms of actually displaying it and putting it for uh, Maybe just find the matrix and put it right there in the middle um, or I could put some figures as well in this as well so really cool, got this for $5. So um, that was pretty cool. Um, so got the Optimus, got this, got that, all at one booth. Now over here, the last thing I got at the same booth was actually this right here, it's a Batman Heroes Edition. Um, it's a Japanese version. It's it's very comparable to like Hot Toys and actually more like Metzko's. So it has a bunch of accessories. You could display this, this comes with a cape and everything like that. Um, really cool figure. Um, got this for eight bucks. So you can see the back of it comes with the actual bat signal and it's a Dark Knight edition. So you can't beat this for eight bucks. On eBay, this is going for around probably $40 uh, with shipping. So definitely excited about getting that. Um, now we got to Walmart. So this right here at Walmart, everything's going crazy around with AEW in terms of the actual merchandise. This is the action ring. The action ring of uh, that's from the arrival collection this is a huge ring in terms of just being the first ring for AEW, and all their figures are sold out right now so this is a must get it's very cool for me to get this and then also i got the multiverse this was on clearance it's the asriel um very popular item it's really dope figure a lot of people and actually like these figures are really cool because they come it does come with a display stand so these are kind of like you know the it things right now in terms of action figures for uh multiverse for dc so there you go that's the pretty much the haul today you know in terms of just money wise the ring was 20 that was 18 this was eight this was two two and five so at the flea market i didn't spend more than 25 bucks and then at Walmart, those two were just a little bit higher, but that's retail. So really at the, the from one, two, three, four, you spend about 25 bucks there. 
and definitely made my money more back than anything else. Um, definitely gonna do more videos. You can tell I'm doing just a little bit of a setup here. I got all the lights display, uh, some AEW uh, uh, belts that I did find. Those are available for sale on my Mercari page. But I just want to thank everyone for watching the video today. And I'll definitely do more videos in the future. PWO. Hey guys, we're actually going to do a quick pop review here. I actually went back out and actually went to a couple stores and actually picked up these five pops right here. Got three from Hot Topic, two from GameStop. So I'll show you right now. So we're going to start with the Hamburglar. It was three for 25 I think, or three for 27 um, And if you went over the 30 mark, you get Hot Cash, which is right there. Um, so I got the Hamburglar from McDonald's. Um, I do have him, I do have the uh, Ronald McDonald over here. I did a couple of those, but I have the hamburger. I still need the other three uh, McDonald's sets in terms of the other, actually more than three. I need Grimace, I need the Mayor McCheese, the Officer Mac, and the Fry Guys. The Grimace, I feel it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a flock version. There's going to be other versions of these characters. I think the, it's so crazy right now that everyone's going nuts over these McDonald's pops. It's available in most retailers, Amazon, GameStop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I just think they're going to make other variants of these characters. It's not going to be just this. So if you, you know, it's available right now. You just have to look for them. Um, I did see a couple of them at Barnes & Noble. So you definitely want to check out all your retail stores for, for these McDonald's pops. So they're growing crazy right now. Second pop I got was the Thomas Wade Batman from Flashpoint. Hot Topic exclusive. This pop was there, you know... If you're going to do three for 27, you want to definitely take a, especially if you're looking to, for your collection, that's great. But if you're looking for the best of best and you're trying to look for the best three pops you could possibly get, if you see this pop, you're going to get it. Why? They're going to make a Flashpoint movie. They're making the Flash. It's, it's going to have Ezer, uh, Ezra Miller make his own, you know, his debut solo movie. And I have a feeling that Thomas Wayne's going to be a big part of it. And this pop is definitely going to rise in value. Uh, I think right now it's at the $18 mark in terms of um, in terms of the Funko app. And online it's going for between $18 to $25. So it's a huge, I think it's a huge get. If you see, Especially with Hot Topic the last couple weeks, they've released multiple older pops like the venom um the venom walgreens they've released uh spider-man um they released uh, the flashpoint this one they lose a couple other ones so if you see some older pops at your hot topic scores why not add it to your three for 27 it, it makes complete sense to do that um the next one i got was the gravity falls um mabel corn mabel it's a hot top exclusive she looks really cool with that just that color and everything like that. I, I heard about the show. I haven't really watched it. It's a Disney show. Um, I, I know it's popular, but I definitely probably going to probably check it out. Um, maybe something me and my daughter can actually watch. Um, so those are the three pops right there. Great three for twenty seven from in, in my mark. So um, and definitely got a couple other things at, at Hot Topic. So it made it made me get the hot catch. Um, the two right here, I got the Alan Dutch Schaefer. This is from Predator, of course. You see just the detail with the Arnold Schwarzenegger character holding his bow. And then just with the actual blood coming out of the nose. And the, just the detail with the mud. It's just an excellent, excellent pop. The back of it. The, the one thing I love about pops like this is that it reminds me of the older pops. Is that, you know, you, if you compare these pops like this, you know, it shows... This pop on the right shows everything that's coming in the line. This one, even though there may be other Predator pops, it's it has a kind of like it's its own type of thing. And I love that because the box art is amazing. Look at the design. It's got the the 80s feel. It's got the, the whole Predator with the in terms of the uh of the uh the night vision. Love that. I just love pops that are just to its own. Yes, you can make other pops in the line, but you could also just make the pop to its own. Like kind of like a movie. There could be sequels, but make the you know make the movies to their own. And I love pops like that that have just the back of it compared to like for example the Marvel 80th pops um, they were just, you know, had, you know, they had the little comic in the back and it was to its own, even though there was other comic, you know, 80th Marvel Pops in the line. So I just love stuff like that. So that's that one. Let's just turn this one back around. Good. And then the last one is Sam Emerson Lost Boys. This pop is a couple years old. Um, it's not in great condition because you can see the corners there. Um, I got it. It's, I got it from GameStop. It was in the clearance section, five bucks. You cannot pass up on a pop like this for five bucks. If you go to your GameStop, there's a huge clearance section always in terms of the bottom shelves and the middle sections. And 
there's pops like this all over the place. Some of the pops are not, of course, worth $5. This pop, if you go by the Funko app, is worth $7. But it, to me, it's going to be a pop that's going to rise, 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 especially if they make a Lost Boys reboot, if they make a TV show, if they bring it to Amazon. There's so many online uh, ventures in terms of uh, online services that can bring back these shows. So you never know if Lost Boys can't come back as a show. And then if you have these pops, they're definitely going to rise. Um, in terms of the line, you know, you have David, you have Sam Emerson, you have Michael Emerson, you have the Frog Boys. The Frog Boys, there was a Funko Shop exclusive two-pack, so that's a huge one. And then there's, you know, these three, plus I think there's a David with the blood, you know, like vampire style for Target. So I think those are their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total pops in this line. You can tell with the damage, but, you know, this pop was five bucks. You know, I'll definitely keep it. It's a look at the detail. It's just this reminds me of like those Goonie pops of you know from 2014, 2015. The turtle pops. Just I just is there something different about these Funko pops in terms of the box, the style, the look, the way they made pops in that you know those couple in those couple years that they made you know these Funko pops. So I definitely think it's just a great addition to the PWO vault. Um, so there was the five pops. Um, so a good day. I think it was a good day in terms of just hunting, going to the Meadowlands uh, flea market, looking for a lot of good deals. A lot, I'd find a lot of good stuff. It was definitely an up upgrade in terms of the last time I went. Um, and then today's with the success at Hot Topic and GameStop. So everything was looking good. I found an AW ring, like it's right there. I found a Multiverse DC. Um, I found a hard one to find. And I found a lot of good stuff today. So I just want to thank everyone who's going to watch this video and everyone who's going to watch my videos in the future. I appreciate that love and support. And thank you everyone across the board through all social media platforms. Uh, this is Joe, PWO, Pop Board Order. Goodbye.